Hey guys, uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over uh, PK3DS and how to use that and to randomize your Pokemon um, for the 3DS, Pokemon games for the 3DS. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go into this this article or this uh, link here. I'll have it in the description, but basically it's just the PK3DS download. We want to go, go to the PK3DS, kind of hover over it, click on more actions, and then download artifacts. It'll create a zip file, and you'll have to just basically unzip that into its own place. Uh, I've already done that, so let's going to go ahead from here. Open up P PK3DS. As you can see, I have my previous zip file here, and uh, EXE. Um, it won't look like this when you first start off. It'll just, at, fir at first, it'll actually just be kind of blank, um, and it won't have any sort of uh, stuff here. So, uh, with The first thing you're going to do after this is you're going to want to get a, a copy of uh, your ROM however you get that, um, and then once you get that, then, we, then you can kind of move forward. But the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, extract uh, the .3ds file. So I'm not going to do that now because it's, it takes a pretty long thing and I already have all my stuff set up. But basically um, what you're going to do is you're just going to hit extract, and you're going to find in your uh, directory your file, your ROM file, um, and you're going to just kind of decrypt it here. Uh, you can change it to anything you want. Um, for example, because this is already de-encrypted, so it's it's already done. But you could, you know, you uh, one thing to make sure is when you download your ROM, you're downloading the 3DS file and not the CIA file, um, because it can only de-encrypt the 3DS file. So that's very important um, as well. So once you extract it, um, it'll kind of open this up. Uh, you might have to do file open. Uh, and you might actually have to open up the stuff. So, for example, um, I have to go to downloads here, go to Pokemon 3DS, PK3DS. Um, and, and what you do is you just do the folder that it's in. So, as you can see, mine's PK, Pokemon 3DS, and it'll be, it, um, that's where my actually my my ROM is. So, once you've done all that, once you've opened up the, the file that it's in, it should pop up like this. Uh, now that you've extracted it, and from that point forward, it's just about starting to actually randomize your game. So it's you know, um, you can randomize your trainers. Click on that. Uh, you'll be able to randomize your trainers. Um, you, know, you just kind of randomize all, randomize. It just randomize all things like that. Uh, you know, your static encounters. Randomize your pickup items. Um, obviously, you want to randomize your wild encounters. Uh, if you just click that, it'll just kind of do it. Um, so, as you can see, it'll kind of do this, it'll be like this, and you just kind of hit randomize all, and it'll show you all the different, you know, Pokemon per different area. Um, <clears throat> so once you've got, basically, once you've done all that, though, once you've done all of the, all the randomizing that you want, and all these things, the last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to rebuild, and you're going to want to rebuild it as a .3ds file. So, um, you're going to want to rename it, you know, whatever you want. Um, I've been playing in Soul Link, so it'll be Soul Link. So let's just say it's Soul Link 12. You just click Save. Make sure it has the .3ds file at the end of it, uh, and this will kind of go go as it rebuilds your file. Um, this will take a good amount of time. Both this and the extraction process will take a good amount of time. Um, but once you've done all that, you'll be good to go. Just open it up with your um, your Citra or other service. I, service um, and it should all be randomized um, so that that is that is that um, if you have any questions just put them down in the comments